Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about program for create, insert, delete and display element in array. Program is insert element in array means insert a new element in particular position in array. So first see example. In this size of n is equal to 5 means size of array is start from 0 to 4. Position is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 means our position is 4 but array's index is 3rd. Then value is 10. Means we want to insert a value 10 in 4th position. Okay. So in this example, we shift last index value to the next index. So we shift 8 to the 5th index and 3rd to the 4th index. Now 3rd index is empty. Then we insert value 10 in the 3rd index. So see here in this program first array size is 100 then position then i then n for array size then value. First we create array. So how to create array? So printf enter number of elements in array. So ad address of n so here n is equal to 5 means we create size of array is 5 means 0 to 4. Now we insert element in this array. So how to insert element in this array using for loop. So i is equal to 0 means first we insert a value in 0th position to i less than n means 4th position. Okay. So first address of array of i, so i is 0, means we insert first value 2 to the 0th index. Then i is increased, so i plus 1, so 1. So we insert next value to the 1 position, so on. Next is enter location where you wish to insert an element, that is position. So our position is 4. Next printf enter the value to insert. It is value. So value is 10. So now how to shift our element. First see here in for loop i is equal to n minus 1. So here our n is 5. So 5 minus 1 is 4 means i is indicate to the fourth index. So, i pointed to the last index. Now, i greater than equal to position minus 1. So, here our i is 4 and our position is also 4. So, 4 minus 1 is 3 means 4 is greater than equal to 3. This condition is true. Then, we go to the next statement that is array i plus 1. So, here value of i is 4. So, 4 plus 1 is 5 is equal to array of i that is 4. Means here in fourth index the value is 8 that it is shifted to the fifth index. Means here array is 4 and here i minus 1 i plus 1 means 4 plus 1 is 5. So, here we shifted our 4th position value that is 8 to the 5th position. Next, in for loop i minus minus means i decremented by 1. Means i is 4 then 4 minus 1 is 3. Now, we check this condition 3 is greater than equal to 4 minus 1 means 3. Means 3 greater than equal to 3. This condition is also true. Then we execute this statement. That is 3 i plus 1. Now i value of i is 3. So 3 plus 1 is 4 is equal to 3. 
so here index 3 value is 3 is shifted to the fourth index so 3 plus 1 means fourth index and array of i is 3 means third position value is shifted to the fourth position means here our 3 value is shifted to the fourth position means here 3 in fourth position and 8 in five position now our i is 3 3 is also decremented by 1 so that is i is 2 so here 2 greater than equal to 3 this condition is false then we go to the next statement here end our for loop and we go to the next statement that is array position minus 1 here our position is 4 so 4 minus 1 is 3 is equal to 10 means here 4 minus 1 is 3 means we got our location so here in this third index we insert value 10 next printf resultant array means we display a new created array using for loop i is equal to 0, i less than n and i plus plus and printf array of i means our this new array generated this array printed by using this statement i is equal to 0 means i start from 0 and i less than equal to n why here we use less than equal to n and here less than n because here n size is 5 means 5 minus 1 is 4 means array 0 to 4 but when we insert a new array then our array size is increased increase by 1 so here i less than equal to n means here i started from 0 and ended to the fifth index i hope all of you clear this concept of insert element in array see here the output of the program enter number of elements in array we enter 5 means we enter 5 element so 2 5 4 3 8 th these are 5 elements next enter the location where you wish to insert an element so we enter 4 means our position is 4 next is enter the value to insert so we enter 10th value so resultant array is 2 5 4 10 3 8 means we insert value 10 in 4th position means 1 2 3 and 4 so 4th position there is new value is inserted next program is delete element from array so see here in this example size of n is 5 means size of array is 5 1 2 3 4 5 so we insert 5 elements in array array start from 0 to 4 so see here next is position is equal to 2 means we insert we delete element from second position but in array this is first index okay so we delete this element using shifting data to the left side so we shift 8 to in this first index then 10 to in this second index then 7 2 in this third index. Now the size of array is decrease, decreasing by 1. So let's see in this program array, this is name of array, then 100 is size of array, then position, i is index and n is size of array. So first we create a array 
so create creating array we use printf enter number of elements in array scanf address of n here size of n we enter 5 now we enter the number in this array so printf enter elements for loop i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. So, here first I, value of i is 0 means we insert first element to the 0 position. Increment i is incremented by 1. So, we insert second value to the first index. Similarly, we insert all these values. Next is enter the location where you wish to delete element. Scanf address of position. Here we enter position. So, we enter position is equal to 2 means we delete element is 6. So, next statement is if position is greater than equal to n plus 1. Here position is 2 and n plus 1 means 5 plus 1 is 6. So this condition is here false. But if this condition is true, then deletion is not possible. So here stop our algorithm. This condition is not necessary. Then we Then we discuss this as part. So in this part, first is for loop. In for loop, I set for I is equal to position minus 1. Here position is 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So I pointed to the first index. Next, I less than n minus 1. So here n is 5. So 5 minus 1 is 4. And i is 1. So, this condition is true. Then we go to next statement. So, here array of i is 1 is equal to array i 1 plus 1 is 2. Means here we shift data from index 2 to index 1. Okay. Here i is 1 and here 1 plus 1 is 2. Means we shift data to Data 8 to the index 1. Means data 8 is overlapped to the 6. So 6 is automatically deleted. Okay. Next, this for loop is executed repeatedly till, till our i incremented by 1 by 1 and go to the last index. So, we shift 8 to the 6, 8 to the first position, then 10 to the 2 position and then 7 to the third position. And our i is incremented 1 by 1. So, first i is 1, then i is 2, then i is 3. If i is 3, then here array 3 is equal to 3 plus 1 means now array is 4. So this is array 3 means this index and array 3 plus 1 means this index that is 4. So 7 is inserted to the third index. Now i is increases means i plus 1. So now i is 4. So here i is 4 and our size is 5. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, 4 less than 4, this condition is false and loop is terminated. So, now we print our new data. So, display new data we use for loop. So, here first we write print a resultant array. Then for loop i is equal to 0, i less than n minus 1. Why we use here n minus 1? Because our size is decreases by 1. First, our size 
our array size is 0 to 4. Then after executing this program, our array size is 0, 3, 0 to 3. That's why we write here i less than n minus 1. Okay. See in this output, first enter number of elements in array. Means we enter size of array. We enter size of array is 5. So enter 5 elements. That is 4, 6, 8, 10 and 7. Next, enter the location where you wish to delete element. So we enter 2. So we delete element from second position. Means 6 is deleted. So output is resultant array is 4, 8, 10 and 7. Element 6 is deleted. I hope you understand how to create, insert, delete and display element in array. And best way to learn, start practicing the programming. Thank you.